So as a product design platform, Figma was not supposed to be in the coding ring, but today it's throwing haymakers. So the company introduced Figma Make, which is its first full-blown AI tool for wipe coding websites and apps. So essentially just describe what you want and it builds it from each and every aspect from layout to the logic. So let's break it down. Figma Make is built into your existing workflows especially if your team is already using Figma and all of its libraries and tokens. So here's why this is big. Firstly, it auto detects and applies your design system. And you can also input an old Figma file and get working code back. And it's built on the Claude 3.7 Sonnet model, which is pretty powerful for coding. And unlike Vercel's V0, Bolt, Cursor, it knows your brand and not just how to build a functional web app. It comes with instant edits, font changes through drop down menus. And if you don't like the draft, just ask in chat for the revamp. And let's be honest, this is big pressure for tools like Framer, Webflow, and of course, Cursor, and maybe even Apple's upcoming Xcode AI project. Look, Figma isn't entering a new market, right? It's owning the one it already rules. And remember, they just recently filed for an IPO. So Figma Make isn't just a prototype, right? It's a go-to market product because beta testers used it to build a 2D game engine, then a custom journaling app, and a startup's internal tool set too. And they're all not just designers. And even with AI, Dylan Field, the CEO, says design designers won't vanish. He told Gary Tan, president of Y Combinator, that designers will be critical in how we build software in the AI future. But now let's zoom out. Because recently, Google's Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview just topped the web dev arena leaderboard. So this benchmark tests an AI model's capability to build highly functional web apps. So the Google Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview scored 1,419 points, which is higher than Anthropic's 3.7 Sonnet. So Michael Truel, CEO of Cursor, said it straight. The model brings significant reduction in tool call failures, and it just works better now. And this model is available via Vertex AI, Google AI Studio, and the Gemini app. So while Figma is building a design-first wipe coding tool, Gemini is also quietly setting the web development benchmark. While Figma enters the AI-assisted coding platform, Canva also just dropped their Visual Suit 2.0 and they're calling it wipe designing again. So it comes with unified design files, native spreadsheets, custom interactive widgets, all of it work via simple prompts. And Canva even launched Canva Code, a feature that lets you turn plain text into functional elements like calculators and quizzes. So they're not just building for developers here, they're building for everybody, marketers, founders, and creators who don't want to write a single line of code. And while Figma wants to code your design, Canva wants to design your code. And that seems to be the real showdown here. And the AI coding wave seems to be peaking because OpenAI spent $3 billion to acquire Windsurf and AnySphere, Cursor's parent company, just raised $900 million. And as mentioned earlier, Apple is working with Anthropic to embed its cloud AI models into the Xcode platform. And now Figma has just entered the chat. End of the day, this isn't solely about automation because it's acceleration, right? The tools that we used to build are now building us tools in real time. So whether you're a designer, a founder, or developer, this new AI stack is the fastest way to go from an idea to an interface. So Figma showed up, Gemini spiked, Canva is flexing and Apple's in stealth mode. So there's a lot going on and let us know in the comment section what you think. But would you pay $16 a month for Figma make? And who do you think wins the wipe coding crown? And this is Front Page by AIM TV. Like, share and subscribe and tag a founder who's still debugging HTML code. And after all, think AI, think AIM.